when we evaluated our, our, our potential candidate platform candidates, they scored the highest, um, or at least was one of the highest scoring candidates in the criteria that we had identified for this TRM platform. Um, it met our business needs, um, as well as from a, uh, from a relationship standpoint, they seem like a better fit. Um, and I would say that how they became to separate themselves was, you know, as we went through our evaluation process, we had a number of engagements with leaders within Creatio. Um, we've had some conversations with, um, with peers that have had engagements with Creatio. One of them is on the call with, with, with Ant. Um, and we came away impressed with their commitment to maintaining a positive and supportive relationship. One of the things um, that occurred during our selection process um, with the consultant that we, we used was um, in order to create the, um, the format for uh, what our um, uh, prospective vendors were going to present to us, we created with that consultant our use cases um, and there was a, a lot of work that went into the creation of the, the use cases um, that, the, that each of the vendors was going to have to uh, really structure their demos around. And so those use cases, um, really, we've used them ever since that uh, point in the process. Ratio is our first CRM platform for the bank. Um, this is something that most people here have not used before. Um, it was a little slow to start, even with the initial training. Um, you know, people were hesitant to use it as it was yet another program. They weren't really seeing the benefits of it yet. Um, but since we've been introducing the dashboards for easier supervisor overview, you know, people are starting to get in there now that they're seeing that there's notes on customers. They're actually seeing the history value of those notes. You know, like so they are able to look back on it. Um, and then again, having the dashboard has really helped the supervisors be able to keep an eye on their folks and able to provide feedback to them as well. Um, some of the other things I've improved is, you know, getting that feedback from stakeholders, you know, finding out the things that are maybe like slight pain points that we didn't quite catch before we went live and we can make, you know, adjustments to make it easier for them to use on a daily basis. With all that, we've definitely been seeing uh, our daily use pick up a lot and we're definitely seeing them use different aspects of, create, of our Creatio platform more as we go on. It's uh, going to be a phase rollout. We're still technically in our first phase. Uh, we wanted to avoid changing too many daily procedures at once. Um, with our current first phase, we did replace the referral program that we were using previously. So this is you know, as, well, as well as you know adding the addition of relationship notes to Creatio. So those are the first parts of the phase, the first phase that we rolled out along with tasks. Um, our next phase was marketing, which is kind of like an in-between phase since it was only affecting a few people. So we actually ended up rolling that out sooner than we thought we were going to. Uh, so that has been in place as well. But our next phase is going to be introducing cases. It, it was about a five-month process. Uh, but also understand, you know, just to give a little bit of background, within, or, within the consumer's organization, there just was not a lot of exposure and experience to a CRM platform. And so that entire five months was not necessarily defining requirements. Um, what we were able to take advantage of within that five months was some training provided by TAI on what uh, Creatio um, can provide and how it can be used. Um, there was also some, some interviews with business leads and others within the project team to, to, to better understand, you know, what are some of our uh, 
operational goals for the, the platform uh, deployment. And then, you know, from a pure brass tax perspective where we started really getting into um, dig each of the use cases and pulling out user stories within each of those use cases, um, that was closer to about a, a three month process. Um, but we were only able to get there with some of that hand holding from the get go, um, bringing us up to speed on potential usage um, for, for, for a CRM platform because we just did not have that uh, experience in house. So after we met with our various stakeholders to determine, you know, what they wanted to be included in Creatio and what Creatio could do for them, you know, find out their case uses, we set out to start bringing our data into Creatio from our core provider. That process did not go as smoothly as we expected it to due to missing information and long response times from our core provider. Uh, the implementation process took, since kickoff, the or initial kickoff meeting, took approximately nine months with a large chunk of that time unfortunately being dedicated to deciphering the data extracts that we got from uh, our main provider. Our ultimate vision is to have one application on the desktop of our inbound teams. And that application is going to be the CRM. And that CRM should be these like singular point of entry for that user and for that member to the rest of the organization, no matter how many other applications are out there, whether it's loyalty programs or it's marketing automation or it's loan applications or, um, you know, whatever else we end up coming up with in the organization, you know, we want that to be in one application, even, you know, as simple as phone integration, right? Being able to interact with a member, track the case and call from the same application, like that is powerful and that is a value add, right? It's, it's getting rid of even that dialer on the desktop has power. And so um, that's really where, where we're trying to go with the CRM. And I think that does lead to, as Eric was kind of talking about, that best in class member experience where we want to focus on personalization and we want to make sure that the conversations and the touch points we have with members are valuable and it's not just, I've got another problem. Because if every time you call your, your credit union and say, the only time I call them is when I have a problem, well, that's not really a good relationship.